slides herself. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure she was she not involved an assistant. in doing that yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. she might have, yeah. Tough calls and tough times and stand up <laughs> and be Fiorina. held accountable. Thank you. We're out of time. Thank you, Mrs. Fiorina. Carl. Uh, Senator Cruz, <laughs> congressional Republicans, Democrats, and the White House are about to strike a compromise that would raise the debt limit, prevent a government shutdown. 45 and minutes and no Rand Paul. That's right. Washington created crisis is on the way. Does your opposition to it show that you're not the kind of problem solver? Yeah, you should watch that, American Rob, and see how, how far we go into the two-hour debate before they talk to them. We're nearly half over. The questions that have been asked so far in this debate illustrate why the American people don't trust the media. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. I like that one mm -hmm. from Ted Cruz. This is not a cage match. And you look at the questions, Donald Trump, are you a comic book villain? Ben Carson, can you do math? John Kasich, will you insult two people over here? Marco Rubio, why don't you resign? Jeb Bush, why have your numbers fallen? How about talking about the substantive issues people care about? <laughs> All right, I'll take that. I'll clap for that one. That was actually pretty good. Yep. And He's like, oh, no, I'm just called not me. finished yet. The contrast <laughs> with the Democratic debate. And the moderators are like, no, this is our job. This is our job. Which of you is more handsome I... and wise? <laughs> so this is and the question about clear. the debt limit, which you, you have 30 seconds left to answer, should you choose to do so. <coughs> oh, Let me now he's upset. It was Men crazy. and women on this stage have more ideas, more experience, more common sense than every participant in the Democratic debate that debate reflected a debate between the Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks. <laughs> and the Sandernistas. <laughs> and nobody watching at home believes that any of the moderators has any intention of voting in a Republican primer. The questions that are being asked shouldn't be trying to get people to tear into each other. It should be, what are your substantive okay, solutions okay, okay. to people? I, I, I just want the record to reflect. Guys, I asked you about the dead limit, and on. I got no answer. I, okay, all right, you, want, you want to answer that question? question? I'm happy to answer I, the question. I'm happy to answer the question, no, but let me Senator, tell you how the question no, is. We're out of time. We're not going to answer it. Let me tell you how that question is. These guys are over talking more than we are. we got to start taking back the power here. They're going to punish him for that. That may be the last thing he has to say. John, I'm interested in an answer from Senator Paul. Senator Paul, the budget deal corrected by Senator they skipped around. Wow. <laughs> they got so mad they went all the way down. Man. Entitlement <laughs> programs, Medicare and Social Security discipline, uh. Uh, disability, which are the very programs conservatives say need. Christie's taking an uh, sub submarine sandwich break right now. Please be nice. Budget deficit. Do you oppose that budget deal because it doesn't cut those programs enough? No, I oppose it because you're taking money from the entitlements and then spending it immediately on other items. That's what they're doing. They're taking money from Social Security and they're going to spend it on the military and they're going to spend it on domestic spending. Here's the thing. When you look at raising the debt limit, it should be leverage to try to reform government. In 2011, the sequester was passed as a reform to slow down the rate of government. Instead, the Washington establishment raised both. We raised military spending, took from entitlements, and raised domestic spending, and the deficit will explode under this. This is the unholy alliance that people need to know about between right Single and party. left. Right and Washington. left are spending, spending us into oblivion. We should use the debt ceiling as precisely to time to force upon them budgetary reform. Senator, if what you just said is true, why did Speaker Boehner craft this deal, and why did Paul Ryan, who has because a strong sellouts, obviously. for I mean. fiscal discipline, vote for it? <laughs> well, well, they're well, that's good guys. the real question. Is there going to be any change in the House with new leadership? I frankly don't think there will be much change, because I think what's going to happen is you're going to get more of the same. People in Washington think they were sent there to be adults and govern and do all of this. Well, you know what I'm worried about? Not keeping the government open. I'm worried about bankrupting the American people. Yes. We're borrowing a million dollars a minute. That is important, and that's what we have to contrast. Keeping the government open 
and continuing to borrow a million dollars. John, thank you, Senator. John, Becky, Governor Christie, I'd like Listen, to come to you I, I with a think question. So. Actually, I have a question right. for you, Megan. We're going um, in your tell it like it is campaign. You said a lot of tough things. You said that we need to raise the retirement age for Social Security. You think that we need to cut benefits for people who make over eighty thousand dollars and eliminate them entirely for seniors who are making over two hundred thousand dollars. Governor Huckabee, who's here on the stage, has, has said that you and others who think this way are trying to rob seniors of the benefits that they've earned. It raises the question. When is it acceptable to break a social compact? Well, I, I wish oh. you would have asked that question. Well, they break the social ago, contract of the Bill of Rights all the time. I mean, let, let me be honest Especially with the people Chris who are Christie. Home. The government has lied to you and they have stolen from you. They told you that your social forfeiture? security money is in a trust fund. All that's in that trust fund is a pile of IOUs for money they've spent on something else a long time ago. And they've stolen from you because now. They know they cannot pay these benefits because Social Security is going to be insolvent in seven to eight years. We're sitting up here talking about all these other things. 71% of federal spending today is on entitlements and debt service, and that's with 0% interest rates. Now, I'm the only person who has put out a detailed plan on how to deal with entitlements, and it'll Look, save a trillion dollars. He says they're lying to you about Social Security. He's right. That, that's right. It's been a lie since it was created by Bismarck in Germany in the 19th century, I think it was. Uh, it was 65 was the age that they picked to give benefits because that is Baron Christie. They picked the age of 65 because that was the life expectancy in Germany. Bismarck never planned on paying anybody anything. And that's what they're talking about here. They said Social Security is in a lot of trouble because we have life expectancy has increased. That's the fundamental lie about this. But I think it's the most reprehensible thing to tell people that we are going to force you to give up 15% of your income. And that's really what it is because your employer is paying at least as much as you are. 15% of your income, no deduction, is going to go into some retirement plan. And then when you come time to retire, they're going to steal it from you. I mean, that, that is amazing. It's not welfare. This is money that people had confiscated out of their paychecks. That's what I agree with. Every time just, they uh, got a paycheck, the government reached in and took something out of it before they ever saw it. Now we're going to blame the people. Today, Congress decided to take another $150 billion away from Social Security so they can borrow more money. That makes no sense to anybody. And they're always going to say, well, we're going to fix this one day. No, they're not. It's like a 400-pound man saying, I'm going to go on a diet, but I'm eating a sack of Krispy Kremes before I do. <laughs> Chris Krispy Kremes. <laughs> oh, that's a day. Are they going to give Christy I wish equal time? To him when that, when he said that. <laughs> Are they going to give him equal time to respond to that? <laughs> Let's quit making it a problem for them. It's like them getting mugged and then us saying, well, we're going to mug you some more. You ought to just be able to get over it, get used to it. Governor. No, sir. Thank you. We need to honor our Senator promises. Let me finish. I'm the only time I've had a chance. Let me finish. Okay. All right. This is a, a matter not of math. This is a matter of morality. If this country does not keep its promise to seniors, then what promise can this country hope to be trusted to keep? And the fact is, none of them. And, and by the way, Carl, the only way, no, Governor the only Krispy Kreme. He was talking about a 400-pound man. The only way to keep our promise to seniors <laughs> is start by following the first rule we should all follow, which is to look at them, treat them like adults, and tell them the truth. It isn't their men anymore, Mike. They stole it. It got stolen from them. It's not. And I'm going to hand it out to somebody else. We stole your money. We got it fair and square, just like I confiscated your car on the road. You know, he supports civil asset forfeiture. Well, this is kind of a form of civil asset forfeiture, where they steal 15% out of your paycheck your entire life. And then don't give it to and give it to somebody else when you uh, um, when you retire. I'll Chris give Christie. you 30 more seconds. But, but I'll to buy a tequila. Okay, all right. <laughs> or, or, or even some famous Colorado brownies. <laughs> I'll give you 30 seconds to respond. <laughs> hmm. um, John, just, since he brought me up, do I not get to respond? Respond on the debt limit or in answer to the governor, whichever you choose. Well, sure. Look, th this deal in Washington is an example of why Washington is broken. Republican leadership joined with every single Democrat to add $80 trillion to our debt to do nothing to fix the problems. And, and let me note on Social Security, because we were getting into a good substantive exchange, and I'm going to say I think both Chris and Mike are right. Governor Huckabee's exactly right. We need to honor the promises made to our seniors. But for younger workers, look, I'm 44 years old. It is hard to find someone, my generation, that thinks Social Security will be there for us. 
We can save and preserve and strengthen Social Security by making no changes for seniors, but for younger workers, gradually increasing the retirement age, changing the rate of growth so that it matches inflation, and critically allowing younger workers to keep a portion of our tax payments in a personal account that we own, we control, and we can pass Look, on to our make kids. Make it real simple. Just let people opt out of this confiscation scheme if they want to at any age. If you want to get out of this, fine. Did he say increase the retirement age? Yeah, yeah. increase the retirement age. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're going to retire yeah. at 90, guys. That's right. Jakar, you might have to retire at 90 because you're the younger one on the stage. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you might have to. Yeah, I, and I agree. For a long time. I mean, I don't agree with everything he said, but yeah, I definitely am not expecting Social Security to be there for me when I need it. Well, they definitely have to get it back to make it solvent. They have to do what Bismarck did, and that is make the Social Security age of benefits the, the average age of people are going to die or higher. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's reality. That's what this has always been from day one. If the government doesn't pay it, then tell me what's different between we, the government and Bernie Madoff, who sits in prison today for doing less than what the government has done to the people on Social Security and Medicare in this country. Governor, thank yeah, you. Let's put some people we in jail. Take a break. The Republican presidential debate live from Boulder, Not Colorado. Not with this Department of Justice, no. I think uh, maybe we should go to a break, too, guys. All right, let's take a break. We're going to be right back as they take a break. We're going to take a short break. They're not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain forces here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're going to crash and going to feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888 253 3139. I want more candy. I want more video games. Why, why, why? 
And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you 